Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a short video going over some Mistweaver buffs that were just announced. I was not expecting this at all, but I will quickly go over it just for anyone who didn't know. I'll, I'll also put a link in the description to all the buffs. It looks like they nerfed mages and they uh, they nerfed death knights. Poor guys. They're already on killable, uh, so I'm not that mad about it. But Mistweaver got some insane buffs. So Awakened... Baylane, Spinny Crane Kick, now has three. Nearby allies for 60% of damage done was 50%. So that is this talent right here. Uh, Waken Phalene is right here. So it just buffs it by 10%, which is really nice. Originally, this was, what, five people for 20% or 30%, but now they changed it to three people for 60%, which is really good. Um, that'll help with fist weaving. It's not going to matter in PvP, but in PvE, that will matter. I think that's going to be really good. That's a really good change. Uh, vivify heal to primary target increase by 20 percent this i find this funny because they they nerfed vivify like four times on beta literally they nerfed a 10 percent for pvp another 10 percent pvp they nerfed it by 20 percent and it's kind of crazy because tier sets aren't out yet and our tier set buffs are vivified by 10 percent and then 10 percent so this is this is a pretty big deal i'm not gonna lie this, this is this is a really um significant change you're healing up you're going to see a, a large um increase to your healing output i think and this also buffs talents like our instant vivify you know so now our vivify instant vivify does 20 percent more healing which is insane so i'm, I'm really happy about that because it felt like instant vivify was nice but it didn't really it didn't really like heal it, it kept people alive but it didn't wasn't really like impactful this one is crazy now i don't know if you use this in pve I don't think you will, but in PvP, I, I this is literally insane. So peaceful mending now increased healing received by enveloping mist and renewing mist by 15 slash 30% was 10, 20%. So that is this talent right here. Allies targeted by soothing mist receive 20% more healing from your enveloping mist and soothing in renewing uh, enveloping mist and renewing mist effects. So what that means is I they're a little what I wish they did is they're a little bit like ambiguous about what soothing mist is because soothing mist on um, peaceful mending is my soothing mist but if i do like common coalescence each time soothing mist heals the absorb amount of your next cocoon is increased by three percent but that also impacts our unison uh, or the statue soothing mist so it, it's kind of weird it, it's a little so you see how like i'll quickly show you so if i don't have statue up my unison stacks go up once right but if my soothing mist from my statue heals me, it goes up twice. It's actually going up three. Yeah, there we go. Two times. It's going up three times there for a second. So it's weird. I, w I wish that they were a little bit more um, specific about which soothing mist. But yeah, peaceful mending. So now, whenever you're healing with your soothing mist, p your target he is taking 15, 30% more healing from your velvet mist or renewing mist. I, I can't even... Like, that is insane. So you just Soothing Mist, Thunder Focus, Heat, Enveloping Mist, and you're just going to... So much healing. Same with your Renewing Mist. What I like to use is I like to use Rapid Diffusion. Really, really good. Because if you use Enveloping Mist and someone's dying, it's probably your target. And if you're full health, they're going to get the Renewing Mist guaranteed. It's a smart heal. So they're going to get the Renewing Mist and Enveloping Mist. So good. So, so good. Really good change. Uh, Yulon's Whisper now heals five targets with six and healing increased by 15%. Uh, I believe that's... This one, not really that big a deal. Um, kind of a, it doesn't do much healing in PvE or PvP. I don't think you're going to really, that doesn't matter that much. Overall, really good changes. Uh, again, no damage buffs, unfortunately. I know you don't need it for PvE, Mythic Plus raids. Uh, but for PvP, I would have loved something where it just like, let me buff our Crackling Jade Lightning or something. That's the last thing I really hope. I was talking about on stream, and I swear Mistweaver just needs something like this legendary from Shadowlands, where obviously we don't have Chi, but every time we do something, it increases the damage of our next Crackling Jade Lightning by X amount, and it would I swear we just need something like that. Something to just help us do damage from range would be really nice, or some kind of cooldown that makes our melee spells range. I uploaded the video, and someone pointed out that we actually technically did get a damage buff in the PvP section of the changes. Ancient Teachings of the monastery now heals for 375 percent of damage done was 240 percent in pvp combat so they say that we want to see more aggressive play styles from mr monk to be possible in pvp so we're targeting ancient teaching of the monastery to bolster the play style unfortunately even though it does a lot of healing which this is just an insane amount of healing we're still going to run into the same issues where if we push in to do any damage 
we're probably going to get CC'd. Again, I've, I've tested ancient teachings in the monastery. The healing was never bad. Like, the healing was always good. The problem was when you pushed in, you had to, you were going to get CC'd or swapped to and die. And then when you port out or try to avoid damage, you're just losing out on uptime. Um, it also takes so many globals to get any damage out. Sure, sure you have Rising Sun Kick, but if you want to get your blackout kicks you need to use damage like with tiger palm and it's just not really worth it damage isn't good enough to really start healing but overall this is a really good step in the right direction i like it i wish they would buff our ranged damage a bit more but overall i mean I, this is i like this a lot but yeah sorry didn't notice this in the first time i was adding this so yeah really good change here too overall those are the change to miss weaver really solid changes um i think this is really good if the games this is really good for solo shuffle any healing output is really really good for solo shuffle and for real arenas this is even i think miss weaver is gonna be really really strong i don't think we're gonna be as good as evokers or like resto druids um because we don't do damage on top of really good healing output but we are gonna have pretty good healing so uh rbgs as well i think this is gonna be pretty pretty good as um too so yeah if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that's it for me hope everyone has a fantastic day hope you enjoy the video i'll see you later